Here's how I set up my new 3D printer workspace in my studio. There'll be links in the description for most of the supplies in this video. The first thing I did was cover the entire work table with a thin vinyl sheet. I taped the vinyl sheet down underneath using duct tape. Then I used a heat gun to work out some of the wrinkles to make it as smooth as I could. After attaching my work lights, it was time for me to open up the printer. Fragile. I had pre-ordered this 3D printer a while ago and was really excited to get it in the mail. It was like one of those scenes in like a Dune movie. We're here for the spice. For my first printer, I chose the Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra. I watched lots of videos reviewing this printer. It seemed like a good fit for me being that I'm a beginner, that it had a lot of features that would make it very simple for me to pick up the hobby. Ooh. The next thing was to set up the exhaust fan that would connect to the printer. I did the best I could here to buy the right fixtures and adapters to make this thing go from a 4 inch fan to the 3 inch opening in the back of the printer. I invested in a pricier fan for the exhaust system and I'm really glad that I did. It's super quiet and very effective for drawing out those nasty resin fumes. Now one little glitch I ran into is that the mounting holes were slightly smaller than the mounting bracket. So I just drilled my own holes and it worked out just fine. Both of the adapters that I bought didn't work for the exhaust port in my studio, so it was off to the hardware store. So now I'm in the hardware store trying to find something to work. I ended up buying a PVC reducer that worked perfectly once I duct taped it onto the fan. After I attached the exhaust system, I had a few more things to set up on the printer to get it ready for its first print. I ordered some screen protectors to apply to the screen below. I was told that this will help protect it from any possible leaks. The cool thing about this machine is it runs its own diagnostic check to check all the things that I have no idea <laughs> what this thing does. <laughs> For the wash and cure station, I picked up the Mercury XS bundle. It had everything that I needed for washing and cleaning the resin prints. Elegoo produced a short YouTube video on how to set up this station, which was really helpful. It took less than a day for me to set up everything in the studio space for 3D printing. I was ready to go for it and try out my first print. Before starting my first print, I blocked out all the sunlight, which I learned that's what cures resin. I picked up a baby formula mixer to help mix up the resin. I'm going to be wearing safety goggles, wearing nitrile gloves, and using a respirator as well. I also picked up these rolled silicone mats for working on. I picked up one to go under the printer in case there's a leak. After pouring in the resin, I downloaded the program Cheetu Box, which I'll use to pick my printer. I used Elegoo's Test Rook. I loaded it onto a USB stick and began my first print. This is so cool to me. This is my first test print of the classic Rook, and we'll see if it works. While the Rook was printing, I got out some other supplies I used for cleanup, which are these reusable wipes that I cut into smaller pieces. Also a silicone mat. I also got some of these rubber spatulas. Also a funnel and some strainers for putting the resin back into the bottle. Elegoo provided a spatula for scraping the print off the build plate. And after about two hours, I couldn't believe it. The Rook was there in the printer. This was pure magic to me. Elegoo provided a little bib tray for when you take the build plate off in case you spill some resin. I then poured in some IPA alcohol into the wash station. 
carefully tried to scrape off this rook off the build plate. I put it into the machine where it cleaned it for a few minutes. I then cured it in the UV machine and had finished my first 3D print. And I'm totally hooked. <laughs> I was amazed at the quality of this print. I think the Saturn IV Ultra was the perfect machine for me to start with. Well, there you have it, guys. That's my introduction into the world of 3D printing. I think it's gonna be a powerful tool in taking my ideas from sketches to prototypes. If you'd like to follow along with future videos, be sure to hit the notification tab. And until next time, keep drawing, keep designing.